What's up, Nose? AI has been part of the Hollywood system for years, from Avatar all the way back to Beowulf with Angelina Jolie. We've already expected or suspected that at some point actors would start to be replaced and that time has arrived. Now, it is my belief that the unions should have taken steps sooner but unfortunately this is where we are now now i do realize that the actors are on strike as well but that doesn't necessarily mean that the actors aren't going to go back to work if the writers don't go back to work if that makes sense so the actors could get a deal done and the writers couldn't still be on strike if we take a look at this article from the verge it's about actors saying that hollywood studios want their ai replicas for free forever and that's what we all heard you know via the internet and those were the headlines that the studios wanted to scan background actors and use their likeness forever without pay which just sounded absurd when you look deeper into it the alliance for motion pictures and television producers they actually say the claim made today by sag after leadership that the digital replicas of background actors may be used in perpetuity with no consent or compensation is false. In fact, the current AMPTP proposal only permits a company to use the digital replica of a background actor in the motion picture for which the background actor is employed. Any other use requires the background actor's consent and bargaining for the use, subject to a minimum payment. Okay, so I just wanted to get that out of the way since that was a very big headline that went viral and everyone was very upset about. Allegedly, the producers are saying that that was never the case. In terms of the Writers Guild strike, unfortunately, I don't think that they have much leverage. I think that the studios have already decided that they are going to take the risk and let this generative AI write some of these scripts. Writers are going to be working less and the consumers will have to be the judge of the content on the other side. One of the talking points is whether or not the content will be copyright or copyrightable. Is it fair use? I wanted to take a look at the definition of fair use and then talk about it just a little bit. So it says fair use is a doctrine in the United States law that permits limited use of copyrighted material without having to first acquire permission from the copyright holder so fair use is me going to this article and reading it because this is this belongs to i would guess the verge or uh the person who wrote it but fair use is me reading it giving commentary on it and making it transformative now when it comes to generative ai one of the biggest things people are saying is that um, for example, let's just say mid journey where the algorithm has been trained on a bunch of photos and artists images. And then what you can then do is go into mid journey and say, create a picture of X that looks like Z. And then it'll scour the internet or scour its data set of images and start piecing stuff together. The reason it's fair use is similar to this. It is creating something brand new. Even if they pulled a few strokes from a Basquiat piece and then a few strokes from a Jackson Pollock piece and then a few strokes from a few different artists and then they put them together, that is brand new work. That is not the work of those specific artists. So in that case, it is fair use, which if we're bringing it back to the writers, if I were to go to any one of these generative AIs and say, write me a script that is a mix of Scorsese and Christopher Nolan, and it writes it out, Scorsese nor Nolan ever wrote that, what the AI gave me. So that is a brand new piece of work and they cannot, come after you for copyright or they shouldn't be able to i believe copyright laws would protect you from that or protect whoever is using that new piece of work from that uh, excuse me from any sort of lawsuit um now the other thing is once you get that work from the ai 
can you copyright that? I think in order to be able to copyright any of the work from an AI really depends on the amount of input that has come from a human being. Simply saying generate a script of Nolan and Scorsese may not be enough for it to be copywritten, but if you say generate a script um, that is reminiscent of Nolan and Scorsese for um, this demographic that is a coming of age story about a kid from Brooklyn who is trying to make it into the NBA and and you give your own synopsis of what you want that story to be and then the AI then craft something around that, I, I'm pretty sure that that's copyrightable. When it comes to the actors, I do believe that actors will be replaced in some respects eventually. We're already seeing or hearing rumors of celebrities licensing their li their likeness to AI companies. Um, in the music industry, you're starting to see a lot of artists sell off their catalogs, and I also believe that that has something to do with AI. Um, we remember recently there was a hit song by AI Drake and AI The Weeknd. I think AI is changing up the content game, and we as content creators have to um, pay attention and figure out how to utilize the AI and not be afraid of it. Because I feel like if we turn our backs on it, that is when it's going to come around and bite us in the ass. I'm not sure if the Writers Guild is gonna be able to make a deal that satisfies all of the members. Because as I said, I think, I, I don't think they have the leverage to get it done. I think the only way that they can do it is if the actors say unless you give the writers this we're not coming back and i think that the entire industry would suffer tremendously for that i don't know you let me know what you think do you think that the strike is going to end soon do you think that um both unions are going to be able to make a deal that satisfies each respectively uh, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you later. Peace.